guys how to do the flower wall behind me. It was super easy and it didn't take that long at all. Um, just like an hour after work. It was inexpensive. Um, I got everything from Michaels, I believe. Um, and now that I realize I have a Michaels that opened like 10 minutes away from my apartment, um, hopefully I will be doing a lot more DIYs. So I'm super excited about that. I didn't realize it was open until I went 30 minutes away to a different Michaels. So now I know that I have one really close, so that makes me very happy. But anyway, that means more DIYs on my channel, so I'm excited about that. But this is the perfect piece to transition from summer to fall, since it has some warmer colors, um, but it's still really obviously floral because it's flowers. Um, but it has really um, some nice autumnal colors in it, um, and it really warms up my space and just add some details to the walls, which is what I really needed, honestly. But before we get into this video, make sure you're subscribed to my channel down below for more videos like these and just to stay up to date with my channel. But without further ado, let's get right into this video. All right, so for this DIY, you're going to want some clear stretchy string and obviously some fake flowers to hang from that string. Um, also a tape measure just to make sure that you're hanging all of the string and the rope um, in equal increments. Also, a sander of some sort will be really helpful in getting off all the rough spots from the wooden dowel and the flowers after you cut the stems off. And obviously, you're going to want a wooden dowel. I used a quarter inch thick one. And you're also going to want some heavier duty scissors to be able to cut through the flower stems. And you're also going to want some thicker rope or twine to hold the dowel up. All right, so starting off, I'm just sanding off this weird blue side. Um, I did get this from Michael's, so they had all of them labeled with these different colors. So I just sanded that off so it would just look like wood. And then I went ahead and measured into the dowel so I would be tying the string around at the same spot on either side. After that, I started to measure out all of the clear string, um, so I would cut each little piece at the same length, and that ended up being four feet, and I cut five pieces, and so I just started um, with tying off the middle one, and then I went from there so it would be even. So for the flowers, I ended up having six large ones and then a couple of stems of little flowers and then one, um, it's it looks like a fake fern basically. So I started with cutting the big flower heads off and hanging those first and then from there, I filled in the little spots with all of the smaller pieces. Also, sorry if you can hear my cat meowing in the background. I think he thinks I am talking to him. Anyway, to secure the flowers on, I cut a shorter piece of the clear string and tied the stem to the longer piece. And from there, I just continued to cut the big flowers off and tie them on. And then afterwards, you'll see me do this in a second, I decided to hot glue the knots um, so the flower stem would actually stay on the longer pieces just because I didn't really trust this clear string to stay just on its own. I didn't want it to slowly unravel. Um, yeah, so I just continued to put all of those on. After I had the larger flowers on, it was a lot easier to know where to put the smaller pieces um, and where to break up the bigger flowers with smaller ones and with some leaves. And I actually ended up just cutting off some of the leaves from the big flowers and putting those on the strings as well. And I really like how it turned out. Um, I'm loving how the smaller flowers are looking with the bigger flowers and all of the colors go really well with each other. And here is the finished project. I ended up putting it above my dining table in the kitchen dining room area. And I really love how it looks in this space. It really warms it up. It looks cool against the white wall. And like I said, my walls have been really blank. So it's been great to decorate it with these flowers. And I think it'll be a great piece to transition to fall with. Well, that is it for 
for this little flower wall. I hope you guys like this video and let me know in the comments down below if you end up making your own and if you post any photos of it, make sure to tag me in it. I will put my Instagram on the screen and then it's also in the down bar below. But yeah, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.